So, have we all finally come to re- the realization that Jake Paul is a serious boxing contender and we should all take him seriously when it comes to him and his in-ring boxing skills? I don't know about that. What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, I did not get a chance to watch the Tyrone Woodley Jake Paul fight. But I'm glad I didn't watch it because I would have been infuriated with the outcome. Now, a lot of us that I've been seeing on social media, we're hoping and praying that Tyrone Woodley will be able to get the job done. I don't know if you guys have seen the little press conference pre-talk trash talk segment they had on Showtime that uh, um, Jake Paul posted on his channel. A lot of the points that um, that Tyrone Woodley brought up, Jake really didn't have a rebuttal for. It, it seemed as if Jake was a little bit shook because he couldn't really respond back with his usual antics because he was talking to someone that sounded legit like, yeah, you're a culture vulture. I'm going to beat the living crap out of you. And that's just what it is. And then we get to the fight at hand, and from the highlights, from the clips I've seen, from people's commentary on the fight, didn't seem like it, he lived up to what he was saying. It seemed as if he was in aggressive in nature, but not in the action of it. What I mean by aggressive in nature, if you watch the highlights and you watch the fight, Tyrone Woodley is being aggressive he's walking them down but he's not really throwing any punches he's not really throwing any combos and i think that's the telltale sign of someone that is fantastic at what they do in the ufc but it does not translate and correlate to a boxing ring the reason why jake has been really i guess you can say beating these former UFC guys and uh I'm, he beat a basketball player which that's kind of a toss-up and the YouTube uh YouTuber uh Nisi and Gib now and uh I believe he did beat Deji but granted none of those guys were like legitimately boxers they didn't grow up boxing they didn't live breathe eat boxing so he's been getting away with that not to take anything from anybody else, well, you can take some away from Nate Robinson and uh, a little bit of Anissi and Give and Deji. Granted, Deji probably did the most damage to Jake at the time, if you guys remember. He definitely bloodied him up, but that's neither here nor there. They're not boxers. They don't live and breathe it, you know? Not to disrespect anything about Tyrone Woodley, uh... He probably is a a, a decent striker, but boxing is not his forefront. It's different from MMA. MMA, it's a whole different beast. I I think we can all agree Jake would get washed, completely destroyed in MMA, in in an octagon. Yes, he would be destroyed probably by Tyrone Whitley. But when it comes to boxing, Jake, I wouldn't say is the most technically sound boxer but he gets the job done he's more familiar with boxing than everyone else that he's fought he has the mechanics down more he has a little bit of a combo more like he know how to string combos along he knows how to move like he's more of a legitimate boxer than everyone else he's faced and i think that's the criticism that he gets it's like okay cool you're beating some fighters you beat a couple of YouTubers, but how about you fight a legitimate boxer? Now, Jake has said he's made a list of people he want to fight, quite laughable and comical list. One of the people's names that's on his little hit list is Gervonta Davis. That is ridiculous. Don't even know why he would want to step in the ring with that guy. Another one is Canelo. I that's another person i'm like y'all you sure about that but he wants to test his abilities the only problem is he's using all these people that aren't boxers to test his abilities i would love to see jake get in the ring 
with a legitimate boxer that has maybe won some championships before or has a d decent win to loss ratio they don't even have to be a champion now they have a decent win to loss ratio they are legitimately a boxer someone in his weight class that's what i want to see i don't want to see you fighting against a former ufc guy no disrespect but we need to see a boxer in there that's the only way i would legitimately give jake credit 100 percent through right now i can only give him like 25 percent credit only because of his work ethic because i know he does train and i can give him that i know he knows how to sell and set up a fight i can give him that him and his brother so i'm not mad at the business side of things i'm not mad at his workout regimen and he does seem serious but not serious enough to take real boxers i don't want to see former ufc guys or ufc legends oh i'll take on jake no because if one it's an easy payday for them so i get why they will put their name in it but no i want to see a legitimate boxer go out there and see what's up i can't even talk about the floyd and logan situation because floyd was literally bsing that was a quick payday and that was an exhibition match so it didn't matter whether he win whether he won or lost because there's no winners in an exhibition match it was just just to mess around so i can't even count floyd in that situation i'm talking about someone where wins and losses matter a boxer legitimate boxer i would love to see that definitely would love to see that i would love to see how he really stands up against someone that is trained for this their entire life not someone that did a camp for a few months they have some striking ability some striking knowledge but they're not truly a boxer so i'm not sure me personally i can sit up here and say okay he's the real deal i don't know about that in my humble opinion so comment down below let me know if you guys watch the fight do you guys agree with the decision of of Jake Paul winning over Tyrone Woodley? Uh, from the highlights, I can tell he definitely won on card decision. There was that fourth round. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a knockdown. The ropes caught him. But it was something that really staggered him. And no one had done that to Jake since, I guess you could say, Deji maybe. But no one had really just had Jake a little bit worried. You know what I'm saying? So that was one of the first times that's ever happened to him since he started boxing. So I, I want to know if you guys agree with the decision. Do you guys think it's rigged? Um, and do you guys really want to see him continue boxing? And who would you legitimately want to see him box? We're not talking about UFC guys. We're talking about strictly boxers. Who would you want to see fight Jake Paul? Who would you actually pay money to see fight jake paul a legitimate boxer i would love to get your thoughts and comments about that man but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 60k more videos will be coming later on this week i'm kind of swamped with in the clutch vids and we got a lot of stuff coming up this week so gonna be kind of busy so it may not be as frequent as it has been but more videos will be on the way so please be patient with me i appreciate you guys kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace